As you'll have noticed, bird feeders come in all different shapes and sizes. For a good reason, they deliver different diets. This is a sort of a modern version of a traditional bird table. Plastic, but it's still got the shelter, keeps the food nice and dry, and I've got some oats and some raisins and some general seed in there. Then you get things like this one, which is designed to hold fat balls. Now, these are a particular favourite of great tits and blue tits, and if you're lucky enough, starlings too, they love hanging, and woodpeckers love hanging on here. And this one, of course, is the more traditional peanut feeder. So you can change the diet that you give your birds and I consider these things as permanently fruiting trees which you can move around the garden, they're not rooted, far easier and you can change the species of the tree by changing what you put in them. Get spending, gets a good range of feeders, some top quality food and put it up, keep those birds well fed. Now, I'm not being selfish or self-centred, but you know, if you go to all of this trouble to feed the birds, you do want some return from it. You're spending out of your own pocket after all. So you don't want to put the feeder right down the end of the garden, otherwise you'll be using your binoculars. You don't want to be using these indoors. Put the feeders right outside the kitchen window so you can see the birds clearly with your naked eye whilst you're making a cup of tea. And if you don't have a garden, you can get feeders which actually stick to the windows. Then you're just this far away from the birds and that is fantastic. Thank you.